Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all so anytime drop a new banger a new exclusivity you will be notified so David Ainey Devin Ainey or David Ainey or Devin Ainey um well got his on defeated record back you know Brian Garcia has been under a one year suspension I think by Nevada um I think the New York State Athletic Commission yeah I think yeah and well the Vanny is undefeated but something is very tro tro troubling in my opinion the fight has been ruled as a no contest okay meaning it never happened basic and this should have been removed in the way though if you know, though i just remove it because it never really happened according to you know to them and also because of um um yeah oranga cfa the drug test i think he failed another drug test as well according to what i heard but something is not looking good for devane right now there's some there's fire on the mountain because Devin Amy um supposed mandatory Sandor Martin you know um well the pause bid took place no one else bid uh, uh, outside the uh, top rank top rank was the only promotional company to beat for that fight and they'd be like two million or something plus and there any stock as as basically like plummeted um that's to show that there any the 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 loss to rangas here had a huge effect on it there any of course blame it here and no not blame it here but he did throw some shades at the end that like he felt betrayed by matroom or by her the and the is saying listen you know you're not signed to matroom you're not an obligation you're not a priority we're not obligated to beat for that fight and it's not a good fight to sell and we're not going to overpay you for, for such fight yeah but you look at it in a way i think you know earn is right the ain't is his own buck he wanted to be that and it's one of those things that happen but i'm more concerned about the ain't mental state of mind the ain't may never retire he may never recover from the trauma of being knocked out by Ranga here and when they fight again because I think the fight will happen I would say Ranga here will have that that edge away like just the fact that I caught this guy with the left hook multiple times and he had no answer for it I will catch him again and that's all I need in the fight I think that will be the the, the, the problem that the enemy will have to overcome such uh, trauma he will have to overcome you know not just against Ryan Garcia but if he fights Jeff Davis for example that will be another weakness basically Jeff Davis already know what to expect like knows the enemy is a good boxer when he boxes he's a very good he's, a, he's an excellent boxer but when he tries to trade with you it becomes a problem but how long can you now be hesitant not to trade, you know, trade? Because then you put yourself in a situation like Frank Martin did, where he was fighting on behind the ropes and trying to like pick shots. And it, it ended up catching up to him because Javante Davis is just a smart guy. You know, he got the way he throws his punches. He might not be the most, he's not a, the best boxer but he knows how to get the job done and but if if he meets a box that i can take a punch and like a box well it's finished uh jimmy davis will be will be will be appointed because the guy is not he doesn't love the way round. like he doesn't give he gives away too much round and he's not the best box but he does have that power and he does know how to set it up he doesn't just rely on one power he throws combinations he throws it from different angles he knows what to do to get to you 
he walks you down when he wants to. Yeah, I would love to see more from Givonte because uh, I think he's got a lot of potential, you know, one of the best right now. But when he fights a boxer that can take a punch, yeah, then um, he will be he will be our opponent. That's how I see it. Devaney is a guy that can take a punch. But will, you, will, will he be able to get up from uh, Jim to Davies' um, punches? You know, I don't know that. But he's got heart. You know, he showed in the last fight. Garcia hit him clean with a left hook many times. Dropped him. But Aini kept getting, getting back up. But the reason why I say that Aini may never recover is because being badly beat up like that by someone who juiced up by the way Ryan Garcia cheated but still that left hook is something Ryan Garcia has had in the past and without you know uh, the juice and he still has it and Jonathan Davis has it more so then any will have to uh, fight the demons these demons just, if like it or not there is demons in the right now that uh, would have he, anything, any fight he takes, he will have second thoughts about it, and he would he would now start picking his fight, selecting it, and to his advantage, and that could also affect the fighter's um, basically uh, appeal, because Devaney is not is um is a star, but he's not a superstar. He doesn't sell off tickets like that. He's not a guy that can that can. For example, Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia has the appeal, basically. They have the star power. They can fight anybody and still be able to sell out a little bit. Ryan Garcia is more of a superstar than Javante Davis, though. He's got smart fan base, bro. His fan base are crazy. They might be deluded sometimes because of the things they say and how they defend the uh, drug shooting. I think is very wrong. But... You have to give it up to them. They, those guys are really fanatic. They don't care. But whatever it does, anything it says, they just go with it. They support him, you know, through and through. And that's one of those things a lot of fighters dream of, you know. Only few fighters have that. You know, Anilu has that. Ryan Garcia has that. Uh, Anthony Joshua has that. Other than that, I don't really know who else has that. Fury, Fury is a huge name, a superstar, but he needs to fight. He when he 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 doesn't sell out tickets like that unless he fights somebody credible or somebody with a name. Um, Wilder also has the same problem like David Haney, but Wilder has more appeal than Haney because Wilder is a knockout artist. You know, Wilder was knocking people out. At least you know, for Wilder, he he was going to knock you out. Like you got a knockout exciting and stuff like that the vein is not that he doesn't knock people out he's a boxer pure boxer and when he tries to be the the puncher um he gets um caught you know by unnecessary punches i think he's just stick to boxing instead of like trying to knock people out just let the knockout comes naturally if he comes good if he doesn't come good one of those things that happens but right now there's literally a civil war now because Aini is suing uh, Ryan Garcia um, and also um, the two camps don't like each other. This is more than boxing now. This is just pure hatred and it's not supposed to be like that. You know, I know they do it to sell fights, but what I'm seeing right now is not, a, is not healthy for the sport of boxing because two boxers can disagree. They can have beef, but when the beef become personal, then it's a big problem. And Billy Haney, David Haney's dad, is very passionate. He's an emotional guy. Same as Ryan Garcia's dad. Both ritually match each other. Energy and Ryan Garcia, don't get it twisted. He cheated. And WBC, uh, Marissa Suleiman, is basically on um, shielding uh, Ryan Garcia. No punishment for Ryan Garcia. I think that's unjust because uh, Ra uh, this, is why, this is why I won. I want these governing bodies to be to be to be to be to be dealt with in terms of like just let them go, bro. Because they they always have the favorite. As a governing body, you're not supposed to have a favorite. You're supposed to like basically 
treat every fighter the same. But what I'm saying right here is from Maurice Suleiman is that he is basically like um favoring Ryan Garcia, giving Ryan Garcia a second chance after failing a drug test not once but twice. A new discovery just came out, you know, recently that Ryan Garcia failed another drug test as well. It's just bizarre, bro. It's, it's, it's not good. And WBC has something called the Clean Boxing Program and they've not punished any fighters. So how do you expect the, the, the fight? How do you expect boxing to be a clean spot when you cannot, when you don't punish uh, people found guilty? And it's just one of those things you look at and say, wow, this is crazy. Boxing is, is corrupt as hell. And these governing bodies need to do better. You know, um, this is why I I support the vision of uh, Turkey Lashik because that guy gets it. And you see all the, the reason why these guys don't really take a lot of action is that they are not the ones stepping in the ring. Their family members are not into boxing. Uh, a lot of them are basically working for the governing bodies and earning money and from from the sweat, sweat and um, the the ad work, the ad lib of fighters. They don't really care about it like that. Like you and I care because you and I, we know what it takes um, to get in the ring. I've I've boxed before. You know, it's not easy that you know to to step in, in that ring. And, and and face another man and then not knowing what the man is, is is on could be on a juice and then anything can happen you get you get knocked out and basically you die so these guys you look at them they're overweight they're not fit they don't go to the gym they don't train they don't do anything no hard labor all they do is just sit yeah um, sanction a fight get paid they are 10 percent and they good is why WBC Marcus Suleiman does not take the necessary precaution and also action that is needed to make the boxing, uh, to make the, the sport of boxing clean. One of those things you look at and say, wow, it's crazy. But like, like, but I think uh, Dev Ailey is a damaged goose right now. It's a damaged, it's a damaged goose, bro. I have to say that. Um, it would take, uh, it would take, um, would take a lot for him to get back to where he was that no he's not he's, he's a good boxer still but i mean that when you get beaten up like that and you get caught by repetitive um or left hooks you begin to wonder like am i am i ready to, to still take that punches because the more punches you take like that the more if effect it has on you look at water for example he fought as in Fury, the second fight against them, uh, between them was brutal. Uh, Fury knocked him out, but not just that, but Fury beat him, basically beat him up. The third fight was even worse. Fury also took a lot of beating from that fight, in the third fight. And now Fury is affected by that, but not as much as Water. Water right now, the, his point resistance is gone. You know, he's trying out to throw the right hand, and people are telling him to retire. You know, he got basically uh, bamboozled by John Jali. So all the, these things affect fighters, you know, especially when you are skilled as any and then you keep begin to wonder to yourself, why why am I not able to take this punch? Why am I not able to like evade this this, this left hook? It's just some of the things, you know, you have, begin to have doubts. I just help, I just hope Amy is not in the position. I hope he rebuilt himself, but what I'm seeing right now, is not it's crazy and also david any needs to fight someone big to make money because he's not a doesn't have that 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 superstar he doesn't have that pool to fight anybody and make and make a lot of money and sad what it is he may never retire but i hope he does god bless you